Namaste, welcome, dear one, wherever you are and with all that you are, it is all welcome. In this human life, we go through a lot of experiences, good and bad. But a lot of the times we find ourselves struggling because life is challenging and it has to be this way so that we wake up to the truth of who we really are. Our true nature is to be happy, always. But it takes a while for us to realize this because of the veil of Maya, the perception that we are a body and separate, which inevitably causes suffering. The body is fragile. It is not what we are. The sense of self as a person has changed many times and been challenged by life and circumstances. It is also not what we are. All of this has to happen so that we start peeling away all these layers of wrong identification like an onion and come to the core of what we really are and what we truly are longing for. This world offers many avenues to more happiness and more peace. Perhaps you have your own experience of some of these, like seeing a therapist or life coach, implementing strategies and new ways of looking. It requires a certain amount of effort and commitment. And there is a place for that. But perhaps at some point you feel like I've got no more time to waste. There is a certain sense of urgency to end the cycle of suffering and seeking once and for all. Non-duality or self-inquiry offer a shortcut to all of this because they cut suffering at its root where it all starts and without which it cannot survive. The identification with ego and personhood. And I don't want to just use these words. We might have heard them before, but they remain elusive perhaps. It is an actual experience that many beings can confirm. You don't have to pay any fee for it or have any qualification or any particular skill. This is how it should be, right? Who can give to you what you already are? And who would have more power over it than your own self? No, it is you has always been you. It's a shortcut because it is so simple and natural to you. You don't have to remember any strategies. In fact, all of life will bring you here to ask this question. Who am I? Sometimes we might be afraid to ask this question, perhaps because we never really knew who we are, or things that we thought were true about ourselves have changed or been compromised. But no, dear one, that all of these experiences have brought you here to your greatest discovery of what is actually true and real and lasting. 
No one and nothing can disturb it or take it from you. We sometimes refer to the true self as Brahman, the ultimate reality, or the great awareness or witness. Don't be afraid of these words. They all fall short to describe the incredible truth of what you are, beyond the limitations we impose onto ourselves of body and mind. The body and mind have their function, but it is not helpful to think it is all what we are. The body ages and experiences sickness, and the mind can tell us all sorts of things. It often engages in a negative discourse of how we are not good enough, going to fail, not worthy of being loved. This negative narrative dampens our light, so we need to transcend it. Let's begin by being a witness to our thoughts rather than believing them and following them. Just for a moment, stop and take a distance to your thoughts. See them come and go. And the less attention you give to them, the shorter they will live. Can you see that a thought only has power if you give it your attention and belief? If you simply let it pass by, it cannot survive. Be like the sky in which all things pass by. Thoughts, ideas, sensations in the body, boredom, restlessness. These are all brief appearances in the vastness of what you are. So why give it so much attention? When you look at the sky, can you see how vast it is? It is not disturbed by the clouds or the rain, nor does it need the sun to shine. It simply holds the space. And it's not even doing that. It just is. This is like your own true nature. You can imagine your thoughts, your worries, the distractions, like those clouds in the sky. They may cause a reaction in your body, like the clouds may cause a shadow briefly on the earth. But it is not what you are. You are like the sky holding and beholding of all things passing. And you have the choice how much attention to give to them. Next time you go out into your life, put it to the test. When someone says something or does something that really hurts you or makes you angry, can you recall this image of the sky? and see the sensation of hurt or anger for what they are. Occurrences in the body that are passing through. And they only have power if you identify with them. It is hard for the person to do this and impossible for the mind to understand it. So we need to transcend both. Again, this is very simple. When we continue this inner looking to see all the things that we are not, we can see that at our core we are not a mere person. 
This vast space in which all things arise is not personal. The sky is not personal. And this is not a negative thing. It is a liberation from all the imagined scenarios of hurt and trouble. So next time these things happen, you can ask, who are they happening to? The one who believes to be the body that changes, the emotions, the thoughts, or the awareness in which all things appear? How can the awareness be affected? It has never been affected. And if you look more deeply, you can see that the awareness cannot remember any beginning or end. It just knows being. Some of these things might sound complex when in truth they are the simplest. They do not ask of you to employ strategies or to study hard, but to simply look and see with openness, courage, sincerity at this eye. What is true about it? What is its nature? And you cannot fail because life is your teacher and will bring you more and more clarity about what it is that you are actually searching for. Trust it. Spend more time on contemplating on the self that knows no beginning and no end. This vast space in which all things arise, it is none of them. It is always beyond. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think can benefit, and if you like, subscribe to my channel so we can stay connected. All my love to you.